Uh, thank you, Mark, for taking the time to uh, speak with me today. Mark is a pedagogical evangelist at Adobe, uh, responsible for quite a big, large area as well. And uh, I'm really excited to hear what both he um, and Adobe have in store for us in terms of digital education futures. So Mark, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Yeah, sure. So I started um, out as a, as a lecturer, a computer science lecturer. Um, but I've been fortunate enough to spend uh, about 13 years at the University of Cambridge, where I held various roles to do with learning innovation, digital learning, uh, learning transformation. And for the last four or five months, I've been at Adobe, where I am the pedagogical evangelist for higher education here in Europe. Wow, that's amazing. So with those multiple hats and masses of amounts of experience, so Mark, could you tell us what the sort of future models of education are and how they might fit into the role of um, the sort of digital skills that is required and the kind of amazing uh, products that are coming with Adobe and the benefits of those? Yeah, sure. So as we know, higher education is kind of a, a point of transformation at the moment where, and to me, there's this kind of three different areas there. The first one is that societal expectations of what societies expect from higher education has been evolving. And we're talking here about employability skills. We're talking about graduates that are able to operate in a digital economy in a digitally native world. Then we've got the actual effect that digital technologies have had on education, how that's brought um, the challenge for new business models and for serving new learning requirements. And then on the other side, we've then obviously seen an evolving um, and a growing demographic of learners that's really opened up higher education to um, new modes of delivery and to new audience types. In terms of education as a, as a future driver, what are the important things that you think are coming out and that we need to focus on? Okay. We've just um, done a lot of work with uh, the Welsh Government, where every primary and secondary school in Wales now has access to Adobe Spark. And that was driven by a priority by the Welsh Government to prioritise digital literacy up there with numeracy and with literacy. And so that now means that we're able to integrate those tools into the teaching and learning of students that as they're learning history, as they're learning English, they're also learning some of those vital um, digital skills. And what we're finding with, with Creative Cloud and with, with tools like that, it's, yeah, it's, it's a foundational tool from which educators can build engaging activities and assessments on top of it. Um, but it's having that kind of standardized um, foundation that means that students can find their own superpower. Some will really gravitate towards video, Others, it might be 3D or it might be um, working with imagery. Um, but essentially, the, the idea here is that work by working with faculty, by working with educators, we can help design experiences and assessments that really help the students to, to thrive. And usually those that perhaps aren't as vocal in class normally because maybe they, they don't have confidence to speak out. Well, they can they can speak out in other ways and do that through through digital medium. That's awesome. So these are all the positives that we do have some challenges, unfortunately. Um, so what do you think are the major challenges of digital education? Some major, major challenges are that just the, the cadence, the speed of change is so quick. And, this, and I think for the average teacher, for the average academic to keep on top of that, you know, what are the best ways to deliver? How do they kind of keep it current? How do they keep it interesting for learners? I think there's there's real challenges there. I think also in around kind of standardization of frameworks, obviously I think COVID has, has, has highlighted, I'm sure you've had many people uh, sharing experiences and speaking about that. But I think actually um, underneath COVID, there were some trends that were already emerging. The, the, the pace of change with digital tools, with how we, how we should use digital tools and actually how our students are using digital tools makes it quite difficult. It puts teachers, it puts lecturers in a slightly um, odd position. And so actually working through how to make effective use of these tools within teaching and learning is a challenge. Um, I think with that as well, we're operating in educational systems where we have quite baked in assessment models, which don't always facilitate for um, good and expressive assessments. Um, and so I think we also need to look at how do we form assessment models that enable um, creative assessment design um, to be conducted. And then we've also got the, the actual literacy frameworks that, that we, we use. Um, there's lots of different definitions, but each institution is essentially having to work at these out for themselves. And so it's, it's quite difficult to actually 
highlight which skills and knowledge and behaviours we want our graduates and students to be delivered on and then how do we actually assess them or how do we quantify them. That kind of piggybacks onto my next question. So, so how could DEFI as a centre help with those challenges? Yes, yeah, so I'm actually really excited by DEFI because, you know, I think I've, I've worked across Cambridge for a few years and we know how Cambridge is respected in education. And I think Cambridge is the ideal place for this type of research to, to have a, a thought leadership role in actually researching a lot of these questions and then collaborating with industry partners and with sector wide partners to help find some of these answers to some of these difficult questions. Um, so I think DEFI plays, could play an important role in helping to kind of shape ideas and, and potentially policy around some of these changes that are being brought about um, with the implementation of digital technologies. Okay, thank you for your time, Mark. That was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> thank you very much, Delary. Good to see you.